Hello everyone, welcome back. Today I wanted to show you this backpack that I made. Um, I was watching this video from Guns, Knives, and Beer. Um, I know you hear me say that a lot, but I love the things that he makes. And he made a prototype backpack. Um, it was way cooler than this. I mean, he had all kinds of pockets and leather and drawstrings and everything. Um, I looked at that thing and I said, wow, that is really, really cool. And that was just his prototype. Um, I'll put a link in the description to that. Um, but it set me on a hunt for a simple, um, smallish day pack, rucksack, you know, uh, something that I can use for a couple hours, half a day, you know, hike. Um, that's a little bit bigger than a uh, haversack and I could fit in, you know, something to make some coffee and maybe a little lunch and, you know, uh, water and uh, a collapsible bowl or something for the dog you know just uh, something that just fits everything just right so to say so I, I searched YouTube and I found this video by a gentleman named um, Adam Atkins and he made this uh, backpack out of a pair of pants a shirt and some backing and some you know webbing I mean it was really great it, it looked like it was something I could do so I gave it a shot and uh, I did a couple things different, but I pretty much followed everything that he did. Um, it's a really, really good tutorial. I did not uh, film myself making it. I did take some pictures that I'll show you um, and I'll explain a few of the things that I did different. But his tutorial was so spot on. I mean, it's perfect um, that, you know. I'll, I'll put the link to it again in, in the description. And if you want to make one of these, you just follow what he did. Um, and you could add the changes that I made also, which I'll show you. So one of the things he did, he had um, only one strap. I made two. Okay, now he used them. He cut them off of an old jacket or something. These I made. They're just wax canvas um, with, you know, snaps. And then they're all sewed on. Uh, this was a, a sample prototype kind of that I made and then I didn't like the idea of the stitching going down the middle because I'm going to put a hole in it and I didn't want to break the, the stitching. So I ended up doing them like this, which came out good. Um, I did put an adjustable strap on the back, okay. Now these were from a old backpack that I had. I actually had a couple of them and they were this I don't know what they're made of some kind of nylon or something uh, but they were this camo pattern and I dyed them and this was the first one I did when I dyed this it came out very very brown and I wasn't particularly happy with that so I took another one actually I had dyed these with a chocolate mocha something or another first and then I used dark brown and they came out this color then I used these and I just did it with the dark brown and for some reason they came out this very brownish grayish blackish color that I think matched really good with the wax canvas um, the uh, what we got here the lining was just an old pillow that I had 100% cotton. Now one of the things I wanted to mention was um, where he shows you where you sew the corner off to get the squareness of the bag. If you look down here. Okay, I didn't follow his directions. When I followed his directions, the this is how wide that corner came out. Let me see if I can find that again. I mean it came out huge and I didn't like that. So mine is about half of that. And what I did was I measured, let me show you this. Okay, I think he did something like 10 centimeters from here to here. My bag ended up that I measured from the end of the stitch line, right there, out three and a half inches. So I did three and a half inches this way and then three and a half inches this way and then I drew a line and I sewed it there. And then where he attached his, um, his strap, I believe he went 
something like uh, nine inches or something like that, nine centimeters up. I did mine, um, it was like eight and a quarter. So it was like about a half a centimeter from this line here. And it came out in the perfect location right there. And it's a roll top. You just unroll it. And there's a lot of room in there. I mean, I'll show you what I have in there now. Um, let me reset up the camera and uh, I'll show you exactly what I got in there and I'll give you some measurements and some weights. All right, before I pull everything out of there, I just wanted to mention a couple things that I would do different. Um, I forgot to add the little, I guess what you're going to call it, like um, a hanger, right? Um, at least that's what I would use it for the old backpack. I would just use this to hang it on, uh, you know, a coat rack or whatever, keep it off the ground. Um, but that's not a huge deal. I could always just, you know, hang it from here. And I probably would have sewed in some type of uh, pockets on the inside on the, in the lining. Um, but uh, it, it works fine the way it is. I mean, you know, down the road, if I wanted to, I could very easily take the lining out and uh, just put some pockets in it and then sew it back in. Um, this wax canvas is very forgiving. You never even see the stitch lines when you open it. Um, they kind of just fill back in with wax, so it's pretty cool. So let's get see what we got in here. All right. So the first thing I have in here is a ground cloth, of course, made from wax canvas. So it matches perfectly. So I got my ground cloth. Then I got a full water bottle. in here just a little nylon uh, drawstring pouch got some lunch some noodles got a little cup inside there I have some uh, the flavoring for the noodles I have enough um, stuff here coffee mate some coffee and uh, a couple sugars to make a couple cups of coffee and of course I can make my noodles in there and purify water if I run out. I just have my little knife. Um, usually I'll have a belt knife also. So we have that. Then I have another little wax canvas pouch here with my little stove that I made. And I keep this in wax uh, so that if it gets all sooty and stuff, it doesn't make everything really dirty. So um, I had showed this in a previous video. I'll see if I can remember to put the link, but just a little twig stove, and this thing works great. So I got my cup, I got a way to heat up water, heat up my coffee, heat up my lunch. I have my little uh, flint and steel kit, again wax canvas. I have my little K-bar utensil set, knife, fork, and spoon. And then I have my little windshield. Um, I did a little review on this. Uh, it was kind of a, you know, one thumbs up kind of thing. Uh, it's pretty cool though. I, I, like I said in that video, I'd rather have it than, than not have it. And uh, so I brought this with me. And um, like I said, there is a ton of room in there. You could put a lot more stuff. Uh, at this point, you know, um, I haven't even used it yet, so I'm going to try it out. You know, I may throw a couple more things in there. I'm not sure. I guess I'll see how it goes. You know, um, I you know, might have my camera in there and, uh, you know, maybe a book or something. You know, that all depends, but it, it is plenty of room. I could put three times as much stuff as I have on the table in there. So um, let me, I uh, forgot to bring my scale out, but let me get this all back in there. And, oh, yeah, one more thing. The uh, this is what the duck canvas looks like. This is all I have left out of all the projects that I made. It was one yard. Uh, I bought it in Joanne Joanne's Fabrics, and it was on sale. I, I think I paid 
somewhere around four dollars and change for all of it and i mean i made all you saw all the stuff i made got all these things so let me get my scale out and we'll get you some weight all right before i give you the weights um i'm going to just show you some of the pitches with a little couple little explanations of what the pitches are and um then i'll come back and i'll show you the weight of this and uh, we'll wrap it up so here's the original straps I was going to use, made out of leather. Um, then I dyed them black and uh, punched holes in them and didn't end up using them. So here's the original straps I was going to use, this brown color. Um, then I ended up doing this darker color. It's almost black, but it's kind of a grayish black. And then I changed the top and I forgot to put the little hanger on it. But uh, here's a sample of a strap I did. I didn't end up using that type, but similar to that. Um, there's the bag with the straps. And here's that corner that I uh, was talking about. You can see how wide it is. And um, this is the original color that the bag I uh, ripped apart, the camo color. Okay, let's get some measurements here. So we'll do it, let's see on the bottom here. We got... Uh, 11, just a little over 11 where the stitch line is. 11 and three quarters, and it's um, about uh, 29 centimeters. Okay, and then we got just about five inches across the bottom, or what is it, uh, 12 and a half centimeters. And with the top closed, we got just about 15 inches or 38 centimeters. And let's open this up and see what we got. When it's open. So we got 20 inches high when it's open and uh, 51 centimeters. I think I got it all, the width, the depth. Um, and obviously it narrows up here and uh, like I said about five inches there so again it was for me it was to get something that was just the right size for me you could definitely alter the uh, the measurements to fit you you know for whatever you're you're making it for so uh, all right, let's get on with the rest of it all right so if you have any questions about anything I said in the pictures or previous to the pictures, just uh, give me a comment below and hopefully I can answer it for you. So with everything that I showed on the table, let's see what weight we got. Let's get the straps up here so we get an accurate weight. All right, that's saying five pounds and 14.5 ounces or I guess 2,675 grams yeah five pounds 14.5 ounces and that's full with the water in there and um, everything else and let's see what, what kind of weight we got on it empty let me empty it out and we'll take the weight of that all right so empty A mere 14.1 ounces empty. Or 418 grams. So that's pretty light. Definitely light. So hopefully you enjoyed that. And hopefully um, you'll try to make one yourself. I, it was fun for me to make. I was, I was pretty excited making it. Again, um, my sewing skills are not, you know... Uh, where they're going to be down the road when I keep practicing, but uh, it was pretty easy to make. Um, I'll just give you one piece of advice. Uh, when you're doing it, do what I did and do the lining first because the lining is basically the same thing as the bag. In case it gets messed up, you're not ruining the final fabric um, because I, I, as you saw, I did have the lining that I made and it didn't come out the way I wanted it. So I changed some of those dimensions. So. Um, but there it is, my roll top canvas bag. And uh, hopefully it's going to work out great for me.
So thanks everyone. I really appreciate you watching. I appreciate all your comments. I appreciate your views and I hope you have a great day and we'll catch you on the next one.